Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today we are back from the brand new episode of the Rangers Career Mode series and I know what you're thinking, finally CJ, we've been asking for two weeks, well I do apologise lads, but the Career Mode is finally back in business, the controller's on, the hat's there, the mic's hopefully plugged in because I've already done this intro and it wasn't set up properly. I think we're good. As always with the career mode videos, if you want to see this series continue, make sure you be hitting that like button. That shows that you want to see where this Rangers career mode goes. And without any further ado, let's just get into it then, shall we? Because for once, it's already preloaded. And picking off exactly where we left off last time with a disappointing home draw versus Kamanuk. What a way to see off the decade, CJ. We jump into our next game, which just happens to be Juventus away. Great. Now, checking in at the group just to give you a wee updates. By the way, you all know the script. We're already out of the Champions League, but it's between me and Valencia for the Europa League stage, so anything positive in this game could be vital going into the last game versus Valencia. And here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on the screen, we have one of the greatest players of all time and Cristiano Ronaldo on the same screen. They're sharing it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the way we're setting up for this way test versus Ronaldo's Juventus is keeping the same formation that we worked out last week. I know we've got a disappointing draw, but I felt like we were starting to play a wee bit better. We've also moved Aribo out to the right-hand side, Kenny and Morelos up top. You know what they're going to be doing. Doing jesters, doing whatever they like. And we're going to be diving into the first game. Wish me luck. Jesus, look at Village Road. That's been upgraded since the last decade. Oh, it's not. It's not Village Road. It's not Rose Park either. That's very unusual. But anyway, we'll dive in here. And there he is. There's the man himself. My greatest player of all time. I know, I know. That's going to start arguments. But he just is to me. Big moments, big player. But let's hope he doesn't have any versus Shagaroo. And being honest to everyone watching, it's been a couple of weeks since I've actually played Pez because of the holidays and gone to London and stuff. So I just want to try and keep it as tight as possible. Just try and get on the ball. Right, what's Juventus doing here? No way. Please, Danny score. That'd be so embarrassing, man. Come on, CJ. Danny start me. Danny start. You know, it's getting to the stage I'm already starting to think about what the goal difference is between me and Valencia for last place. Save for Alan. I just, honestly, it's like chasing shadows out here. Gonna, gonna. Slide. That was a good bit of play. That's a good bit of play. The only thing we've done so far. Nice. Right, come on, boys. Let's show them we can play a bit of football. First time. Get it to Morelos' feet. Open the door. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. Good touch for Fredo. Hit it, son! That was a chance. Why do I always find new ways to disappoint everyone? Katic, get out of there, son. Get out of there. You're moving like a lander there, Katic. Come on, son. Oh, my God. It's just coming straight back. <laughs> it's a firing range. It's a firing range. I'm getting about 31 minutes in, lads. It's got to the stage where we've got a new tactical deployment. It's take out Ronaldo at all costs. To be fair, Golton was close. <laughs> They're going to score this as well. What am I doing, man? Right, let's do a wee FIFA trick. Remember when we used to get on the line? That was fun days. What a save, Alan! Half time. Thank the Lord Tom Cruise. When he did that one. Gotta be honest with you lads, I've been battered that badly, I've been battered out of one-liners. I've got nothing. There's nothing left for that half. The stats are actually kinder than I thought they were going to be, to be fair. No, 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 come on, come on, come on, we've been defending so well this half. Come on, Alan, well in, son. He eats his wheat a bit in the morning, doesn't even add sugar. Oh, come on, just defend it, Katic, you're the best guy in the air, son. You've got to be winning that. Forcing Alan McGregor into another save. Higuain is 78 years old. I'm pretty damn sure. If I was smart enough, I'd have told you a fake date of birth there, but I've got none in the locker, all right? This is it. Bleak's under blankets time here. To go short, we've got it this time. Arfield. I think that was Arfield. Come on, Jordan. Your hamstring's got to be healed by now, son. No. Watch the pass inside. Connor, please get there. Connor. Oh, it's a goal kick. Connor Goldson, MBE. Give it to him now. He deserves it. That should get us a nil-nil draw. Honestly, we've not been by their half, maybe since about half time, like before half time. I'm knackered, I'm drained. This is why it takes two weeks to upload, because that right there has just took five years off the life. That's gone, you know what I mean? I only got a point, didn't get free. I need to see these, <laughs> I need to see these stats. 16 shots to one. So unlucky in that game, thought I had it. Say they got hammered, say they got hammered. Oh my God, they drew 1-1. One, one. There we are, there's confirmation. Got into the last game of the Champions League between Rangers and Valencia. They play each other. It's all gone down to that. Do you have confidence in me? No. 
And jumping into our second game of today's episode now that we are fired up and we've had that baptism of fire in the last game. It's actually going to be an away test versus Hamilton. Slightly different than our way to Juventus. I'll give you that. But the defence is going to remain the same. We've been forced to make one change as Kamara's picked up a little bit of a knock. Jordan Jones returns to the right. Arebo in the midfield. The rest of the team remains the same. Let's go ahead now and just put out a performance. Can we do that? Please? Ah, there we are. Back to old Village Road. The home away from home. It's good. To be back. Now the Hamilton players are all lined up now. I'm not really sure what's going with the guy on the left hand side with the, blo the blonde and the beard trim, but... Oh, Jordan, man. See when, see when he gets gone, his pace is brilliant. What's my else? He's touched like, it's absolutely immaculate. And Kenny, Kenny, for the first goal of the episode, and there it is. Top bin. 14 minutes on the clock, and we have our first game goal, sorry, of this week's episode. It comes from 50 Kent himself, the gangster. Stepping up, George Jones heavily influential, passes into Morelos, the turn there, look at the run for Kent, he matches it, and the finish isn't bad either. Honestly, Jory was a joy to play in this game, he's absolutely sensational, can Morelos do anything with this? Come on, Jones, gamble son, you never take the first offer, you gamble it. There you go, gamble son, probably should have took the first offer. Oh, that's beautiful play, Rangers. This is me like it. Bury that, son. Close, but nice cigar, unfortunately. But that's much better for us. Of course, he can find his man. Jory can find his man in an empty room. Oh, look at this. Oh, the drag back. Please finish that. It's my first skill move that's actually worked, and it's went right to Alfredo Morelos, and he does what he does and celebrates in front of the, the correct fans. Yes, <laughs> Beautiful there for Alfredo Morelos. Look, look at this. Nice little one two. Then the drag back in between there. I've learnt that. Couldn't do it again if you ask me. Take me home, Village Road. 2 0 up at half time. Honestly, nothing could go wrong the way we're playing now. Nothing. Another aimless long ball. One by Katic. Beautiful son. One midfield. Let's go to that. Oh. No way. It went wrong. Come on, Joe. Find him. Morelos. Finish that! We just needed that to go in just to lighten the tension on the old Danis, but unfortunately, yeah, we've not got any subs either. It didn't go in. Joe Rebo, nice little ball into Davis here. Can Fredo make the run? Fredo, alright, come on. Hit it. Hit it, Davy! Steven Davis, I've been waiting that for a very, very long time. I think that's his first ever goal in a Rangers career mode for me. So it's well worth the wait and we needed it. Not that they were creating any chances after making it 2-1, but again, you know what I'm like. I crumble at a biscuit. So I just start. <laughs> that was so important, basically. And look at the way we finished the game. Beautiful. First time it. Okay. Power bit. He's not got nothing left. Has he got the finish? So... Oh, that's unlucky. Craig Stewart. Arfield, Arfield, <laughs> Scotty Arfield just brought on and he's dropping one of these. That might be our best goal so far in this series. Unlucky there for Ryan Kent, just not having none left. I was trying to power a uh, pace through something, he had none. Greg Stewart, nice patience, but look at that, son. Get this away, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The final whistle has arrived, 4-1 to Rangers. The performance, the goals that we've been waiting for for so many episodes has finally arrived. And boy, is it beautiful. Oh, World Player of the Year is... Let's see. Cristiano Ronaldo. Done nothing versus Shago though, did he? Sad. And jumping into our third and final game, it's actually going to be a home game versus Livingston. And I'll tell you what, if we perform as well as we did in the last game versus Hamlin, three macaroni all around, ladies and gentlemen. We make one change to the midfield with Kamara coming back in and Joe Rabel goes back out to the right-hand side because I want to try and build them up there. But let's go ahead and smash this lot. Let's go. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally back at Ibrox. And isn't she looking beautiful? Let's go ahead and give her the performance she deserves. That is the single worst 45 minutes I've ever played. Honestly, or I've ever even seen. I can't be asked. I can't be asked. Come on, Rangers. This is so lazy and lackadaisical. No, please. If you... No! Nearly, nearly minced my knickknacks there about four times. Honestly. Come on, we need someone to step up. <sighs> that just sums up our game right there. Oh, Davis. Come on, son. 
Open this. Oh! That's going to be a red card. That That's a red card. Are you joking? They've given a yellow. They've He's clearly on the payroll. He's been getting macaroni for weeks. This is actually disgusting. How is this not a red card? Are you joking? Right, sorry, Tab, but there's only one man I trust to take this. In the biggest moment of the biggest game, Ryan Kentacles, can you score your last one, son? Can you score this one, please? Please? <laughs> it's in! Of course he's going to step up in there. It's what the man actually does. And he's dripping some sauce at the end there with his celebration. I look forward to your SFA emails, but look at that for a free kick versus a part of the boss team that we've not even had a sniff at. He steps up once again like he did in last week's episode with a fantastic free kick. Beautiful. That's going to offend someone. Sense of relief is truly amazing. Now we've got Barker in here. Let's see what he can do. Come on, Barker. Open up the legs, son. Did he just run? Not only did he run into his end man, he then got kicked in the face with the football. If that doesn't sum up his move, and I can what will Jack? No. Right. Barley's going to be sent off this time, surely. He's just absolutely nailed Ryan Jack. But look at the pe oh, Joe Rebo is the player of the episode. I don't care what, any ha what else happens. <laughs> there it is. The, the top on the fantastic, beautiful cake, which is this episode, is a Jermaine Defoe goal. And that is what we love to see. He's not played in the last two episodes because we've changed the formation. But whenever we need, the guy steps up with a bit of class, drops a fake shot, nice little flicky the analog stick, and a big boy finish for JD. That should be us, but the referee is playing on, so... Toffany or whatever your name is. That's Katic. Nice to meet you, son. Now wrap up the game. Now wrap up the game. And there it is. 2-0 to Rangers. It did not look that way for the majority of the game. One of the worst games I've ever played because the computer just passed it back. Literally ruined the defence. That's what happens against the in the highest difficulty. But we stepped up with a big moment for Ryan Kent. And it was absolutely beautifully wrapped up Sorry, by Jermaine Defoe. We are two shots on target. We grabbed two goals. And that is a sign of champions. And that's actually where we're going to be ending this week's episode of the Rangers Korean Mode. In fact, there's the confirmation of next week's episode as well. It is the Crunch Test versus Valencia. We win or we draw. We are through to the Europa League. If we lose, we are out of all European competitions. But again, that is for next episode with Hibs and Celtic as well. So it should be a belter. But hopefully you have enjoyed this week's episode. As always, I've been CJ92. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.